This is a Sonic Blockbuster on ESPN. Duke and Carolina round two, and this one comes your way from Chapel Hill. Garrison Brooks, Andrew Playtech, Walker Miller, K.J. Smith, four seniors, along with a junior and Leaky Black. Carolina won the first matchup in Durham, and they're underway here at the Dean Dome. So when Cole Anthony was out, he actually started at Gonzaga and played a lot of minutes during that period. And there's the senior Garrison Brooks knocking down the shot. The ACC tournament seeding, depending on who wins what a little bit later on. The seniors have come out of the game now for Carolina. The lane was wide open because Armando Baycott had to be guarding the post, Mark Williams. Baycott goes right into the chest of Mark Williams and scores. Go after Hurt, try to pick up a foul or two on him early, and then keep making him guard in the post. The double there on Sharp. Aaron pass to Baycott. He has it blocked. Gets it back and finishes. And Matthew Hurt with the foul on a reach-in. Without coming off his man, he's able to impact that play with a good reach. Good pass. Big to big. Over the top. Sharp to Baycott. Really what has let it down this year. North Carolina's defense has been pretty good. It's been top 25 in most of the metrics. Wide open. Caleb Love for the freshman who, as Jay said, has been coming on like gangbusters the last few weeks. Good back cut by Walton. Wow. And give the assist to Walker Kessler. A little bit ginger in his first movements on it, but not surprised he's fighting through it. And knocks down a jumper. That didn't take long. A good try. So if you count that as a dunk, which I imagine they do, now 24 of Williams' 50 field goals are dunks. Carolina needs to look for Garrison Brooks. He's being guarded by Matthew Hurt. Let him touch the ball. Had a step back jumper and he knocks it down with a shot clock running down. These are two of the youngest teams in the country. Black with a cut and a feed and Baycott with a finish. He's probably been the best Blue Devil to this point of the night. So good with that floater. Not an easy shot. Good fake. And the best shooter on this Tar Heel team. Challenge shots and hadn't come close on either one of them. Brooks to Kessler. Kessler's been playing really, really well lately. A couple of very talented and big freshmen in Mark Williams and Walker Kessler. Wow. Kerwin Walt. When he knocks shots down. It's different when another shot goes in for a player. A little crossover and dribbles to his right. Jay, the least heralded member of the freshman class, as you know, at times has been maybe the best of the freshmen between how they've shot the ball against Duke and then the games in between. Elbow jumper for Love, who's having a nice first half when he committed to North Carolina. The kick to Brooks, 19-footer, banks it in. Disrupt some of the rhythm that North Carolina established in the first half. And underway here in the second half of our Sonic Blockbuster. Nice shot fake and step in by Wolf. Well, I'm not sure Mike Krzyzewski's going to love that shot. A quick three from Jamin Brakefield. And now they don't find Walton in transition, and it costs him. Been in, in past years. The, the league is not rated the same way that it usually is. Love using the screen, driving past Hurt, and gets a tough one to go, and he's fouled as well. Illinois in the game before us today here on ESPN with a, a nice win in Columbus. Io DeSumo back despite a facial injury, playing with a mask and played... Oh, what a pass. And Kessler slams it home. I mean, this is a well-constructed team. A turnover. And what a block. Leaky Black from behind. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, this team, this North Carolina team, and it goes it goes for Duke as well. If and Kerwin Walton is, man, that guy's a shooter. Uh, we don't know about Sharp. You assume Baycott will, and then you got Kessler. Like, Kessler's going to get a lot more minutes, and he's, he's going to become a big factor on this team. He's, he's going to be a great player. But, but you know, these guys are not that. But that is not – you don't mean that as a slight to say, hey, you know, it's going to take these guys a little bit longer to be great. Yeah, Brooks just lost Hurt in transition after that shot attempt, and that's too easy. Baycott. You know, if you're a Carolina fan, you can watch them at times and say, you know what, their good is really good. Like, they beat Louisville. A number of coaches have told Scott Drew that they felt like 
And that's not like everybody's got a ton of experience with it. But they, they felt like it took a few games. Another great cut. Stewart swatted away by Baycott. And that, that just shows you how different this year has been uh, for, for athletes, that, that they're living in hotels. And that, that's, that's a difficult thing. And they're, they're one of the, the lowest volume free throw shooting teams in the country. And heading out, eventually, so well respected and well liked by his teammates, as you can see, Garrison Brooks getting a much deserved opportunity to head out and get an ovation. Yeah, respected not only by his teammates and coaches, but respected by the league. I mean, he's he's an incredibly well respected player for the way he conducts himself and how hard he plays and, and what a good player he has been over his four years. North Carolina or Duke and you play for Roy Williams or Mike Krzyzewski, Dean Smith, whomever. Uh, it's an unforgettable time period. What a great what a great way to finish for North Carolina to have KJ Smith put that in. Well, Kenny was here last night, couldn't be here because of work obligations today, but Kenny, we hope you'll watch it. Number 30 can still score. And there's Sterling Manley, a redshirt junior who's had a lot of injuries in his career. Because of the medical redshirt, he actually came in with the other seniors who started here at North Carolina. And now he's got a block at the other end, and good for him to have some fun. When you say dominant tap to buzzer, uh, it, it applies in this one. Duke was never in this game. North Carolina took him out of it from the very beginning. An impressive win for North Carolina as Garrison Brooks and company enjoy their senior night. Both teams are headed to Greensboro to find out what happens over the next week.